Hi there, hope you're all doing well. This week I am painting up a Herald of Carnage from Titanforge Miniatures. The minis within this set are going to be the basis for my Havoc Brothers army, with this guy being the Psyker in the army. It was black and white Zenith all primed and I get started with Berserker Red for the basics of the armor. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. Next up I start to stipple on some sanguine scarlet over some of the more exposed parts of the armour. With this mini it's not much on there as there's a lot of detail, but this is the method I'm using for the entire army so some of the simpler minis have a lot more detail to bring up. To finish the armor, I stipple on some demon red only over the uppermost parts to make them stand out a bit more. For all of those robes I'm going for a black look and the best way to paint black is with dark grey so I base coat all of the robes with death reaper. The Death Reaper was taking a while to dry so I thought I'd crack on with the trim using Dragon's Gold. You don't have to be overly neat with this step as you can see I do smear gold over some of the more finished parts of the armor. I just came back in once it was dry and went over it with Sanguine Scarlet again.
There is a good number of horns on this mini. All of these get a base coat with Skeleton Legion. For some reason, I completely missed the ribcage he is standing on though and come back in afterwards to base that one. To start highlighting up the black, I grabbed Cold Corpse Blue and began stippling on the majority of the black. I chose to stipple this over instead of just layering it on as I want to add that texture that stippling brings. The final highlight for the black as well as the base colour I went for dark sea green. This is used to highlight up the edges of the robes. For the proper colour I chose light green, this is all of those flames and the weird magic looking parts. Highlighting up the gold, I start off with glistening gold over the majority of the sharp edges and some of the more flat parts facing upwards. To add variety to the base, I dab on some stonewall grey. The last few metallic parts and some more highlighted on the gold is done with plate armour.
moving on to highlighting up the bones and the horns, I used Vampire Fang. The flames are looking a little bland so I'll grab deep green and highlight them up. Of course being flames the darker colour is the highlight, the lighter colour is the base coat. Even though flames are generally the darker colour is on top I want the faces to stand out a bit more so I'll highlight them up with Escorpina Green. Moving on to the washes, I get started with Oblivion Black Wash all over the robes and the base. Flames needed some more depth so they get a wash with Orc Flesh Wash from Two Thin Coats. Finishing the mini I wash everything else and the base again with Flesh Wash from Army Painter. And that will be it for the Herald. This is the last of the heroes that I need to get done for my 2000 point army, leaving just 30 minutes to get finished. With that being said, I've set myself the goal of getting the entire army finished and ready for an army showcase video on March 31st. This is actually going to be the first fully painted army I've ever had, as even my orcs that I've had for 15 years, some of them still aren't even assembled. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. As always, there will be photos of this many on my Instagram page. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Most importantly though, be kind to each other.